Well, howdy, folks. Thanks for stopping by Camp Wound Dog Workshop Monday morning. As you know, for the 316T lanterns, arc lanterns we're building, I use a Coleman CQ font, which is very, very close to the original font used on uh, the Coleman arcs, the 316 arcs. The process involves taking a CQ font and doing some modifications. Now the thing is, the, the, the font has to pass certain quality tests I have, dents, scratches, stuff like that, so I can re-nickel it. Um, my inventory of fonts has, uh, has grown quite a bit. Um, I've got, I don't know, I've accumulated over 30 fonts. Out of the 30 fonts, about 16 of them pass the quality test to make sure I could use those. This, this is a typical font that has passed the test. Um, I haven't started any work on this. I'm going, to, I'm going to give you a quick tip here. When you guys are pol and girls are polishing up old nickel, uh, it can take hours and hours and hours to rub this tarnish off. But what I do, because I do a lot of plating, I've got a couple of tanks here of various solutions. That one is dilute muriatic acid. I'll take a nasty font like this, give it a real quick dip in the muriatic, bring it back into the shop. I've got soapy water here which neutralizes the acid. Then give it a quick rub with uh, four aught steel wool. And half the battle is done. This particular font is going to get a, a double buff brown and white buffing compound, and we'll see where it's at. Some of these don't even need to be replated. They, they're so nice. If it's not perfect, though, I give it a run through the nickel bath and replate it. But let me uh, let me do another one for you here. Uh, let's try this guy. He looks good and good and grubby. Take him out to the dip tank. Give him a little bath. Swirl him around. Don't keep him in there too long. Take them back in, neutralize the acid, and a quick rub with steel wool. And you know, you're, here you're really not doing anything except just knocking off the Grundies. There you go. Now if you're restoring a lantern, or a lamp. They may, that may be all you want to do after you do this. Give it a little liquid mothers and you're good to go. Um, so keep that in mind. Alright, thanks for stopping by and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.